After getting done with this topic, let's just take a short quiz on what we have done till now. A. Contract of opposed to public policy. B. Agreement where object is uncertain. C. Intention to create legal obligation. D. Contract to sell above MRP. The options given are unlawful contract, trade agreement with enemy country, void and unenforceable, essential element for valid contract. You have to match uh, ABC with the correct answers. Which contracts are opposed to public policy? Contract with alien enemies, enemy countries. Trading with them is opposed to public policy. Agreement where object is uncertain. Such agreements are always void and unenforceable. Intention to create a legal obligation is an essential element of a valid contract. And finally, contract to sell above MRP will be unlawful. You cannot sell any goods above MRP. X agrees to pay Y rupees 5000 if Y delivers a judgment in his favor in a suit. Y does so but X refuses to pay any money. In this context, which one of these gives the correct legal position of the agreement? A. The agreement is void being opposed to public policy. B. The agreement is valid and enforceable. C. The agreement is voidable at the option of Y. D. The agreement is void because the object is unlawful or forbidden by law. Here, this agreement is opposed to public policies, so it becomes void. We have studied this when we were studying the contracts which are expressly declared as void by law. And those contracts which are expressly declared by void by law are those contracts which are opposed to public policy. And this agreement is one of those agreements. The contract which you do wherein you are creating impediments, wherein you are interfering in the force of law. Such contracts are void as they are against public policy. An agreement in restraint of legal proceedings is void. It does not cover an agreement which A. Cuts short the period of limitation B. Restricts absolutely the parties from enforcing their legal rights C. Discharges a party from liability or extinguishes the rights of a party D. Provides for a reference to arbitration instead of court of law. The answer is provides for a reference to the arbitration in the court of law. Normally, an agreement which is in restraint of legal proceedings is void. However, it has one exception. The exception is wherein the proceeding is referred to arbitration and when the proceeding is referred to arbitration it is a valid contract though it is a contract which is in restraint of legal proceedings. The next is a contract with resident of an enemy country is a illegal b void c valid d voidable. It is void. You might also think that this contract is also illegal. However, this will not become illegal because normally we take crimes at Ill as illegal things. Illegal things are those things which are mentioned under the Indian Penal Code. Indian Penal Code gives a list of all the crimes and illegal things. Trading with an alien enemy is not considered as a crime. However, law only states 
that you should not do business with an alien enemy so this cannot be considered as illegal second reason is even though such a contract is void you can also take the permission of the government of india and enter into business contracts with alien enemies again in such a case if this was illegal government of india will never give you permission to enter into such contract rather the government does not have any authority to give you permission to enter into such contract so this contract is only void and not illegal